Hello, I'm Hilary Mulek and welcome to another episode on my YouTube channel. As I'm recording this, I am getting ready for the beginning of the new year. And what I like to do at the beginning of every new year is fill out my calendars. Now I just barely put up my 2023 annual calendar and then I always have my quarterly calendar up. If you wanna see a video on how I plan my quarterly calendar, I will link that down below. But since this is, this is the beginning of the year, I am going to be filling out my 2023 annual calendar and I'm going to show you how I do that. So it's pretty simple. All you need is post-it notes and I like to use these colors. I use blue and pink and you can use any colors you want just as long as you can look at your calendar and know what the colors represent. So the first color I'm going to start with is blue and I like to use blue to mark all of my weddings that I have in the year 2023. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my computer where I have my Google calendar which is where my HoneyBook is connected to. HoneyBook is my client management system and that's where I can see all of my dates and everything for upcoming projects and clients. So I'm going to use my blue post-it notes and mark off all of my weddings that I have in the year 2023. All right, so I have marked off my weddings on my calendar. Now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go through and write on the post-it notes what, who, what those weddings are. So you can either do location or couple or just some way that when you're looking at the whole year, it'll help you know um, where, those, where those weddings are and who they're for. And then I also put a couple of my rehearsal dinner dates up there as well, because those kind of go with the wedding. So I'm gonna be marking which ones are weddings and which ones are rehearsal dinner dates. Okay, so I've gone through and I've marked on the post-it notes where all of those weddings are gonna be located and whether those dates are weddings or rehearsal dinners. I also shoot a lot of destination weddings, so I kind of like to see where those, where my weddings throughout the year are gonna be located. So if I need to be traveling for weddings, I can see at a glance where that's gonna be, what travel dates I need to block out and that kind of stuff. So the next color I'm gonna be using is pink, and pink is what I'm gonna to use to block off all of my personal time throughout the year. So this is um, any trips that we have planned, vacation time that we want off, we're going to be moving this upcoming year, so I wanna make sure I block off time for that. Any birthdays or just any dates that I don't wanna be working, I am going to block off with pink. All right, I've just finished filling out all of my personal time. I forgot to mention that I also like to block out certain holidays that maybe we don't have a trip a trip planned right now, but I know we may want to plan something that weekend. So I like to obviously block off time around Thanksgiving, time around Christmas, um, time around Memorial Day, Labor Day. Depending on your schedule and what holidays you know are important to you, make sure to have those blocked off on your calendar. Okay, so very last thing that I like to do on my annual calendar is now that I can see all of my dates that I have planned out for personal time and for work weddings that I'm going to be shooting. I know which months are going to be a little bit lighter that maybe I'll be um, doing more personal things like moving or I just want to make sure I have time off around uh, certain months. And then I can also see which months are going to be really busy. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use these yellow post-its and at the bottom of each month, not every single month, but I'll put up a post-it in the yellow and I'll write what my focus that month is going to be. So if you get these same exact calendars, which I'm gonna link down below, at the bottom of each month, it says, what is your monthly focus? And so some of these months are just going to be surviving wedding season or, um, you know, I'm gonna be vacationing a lot of this month or something like that. So 
um, that might be more what I'd focus on on those months, but some of these months are a great time to be able to get some big projects done in my business, like redoing a website, or if you have a another just big project or styled shoot that you wanna be planning, you can, do, you can look at your calendar as a whole and see, okay, I know for sure I don't wanna be planning a big project during some of these months, maybe some of these spring months, because they are chock full of weddings and I might just be really busy with weddings. But maybe like my October for right now is pretty available, so maybe that would be a good time to plan a good project or uh, plan something for my business. So I like to use these yellow post-it notes and just look at my year as a whole and put up post-it notes on certain months when maybe there are some things that I wanna get done. And the reason why I like to do them on post-it notes rather than um, writing it in, I uh, have all of my calendars in these poster boards that has this plastic covering on it that I can used to write with dry erase markers. But the reason why I like to do the post-it notes is because sometimes my monthly focus or my goals change throughout the year. So it's easy to just take these off and move them to different months. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, great, I've finished that up. To review the three things that I did on my annual calendar, I used blue post-it notes to block off any weddings or rehearsal dinners that I have this upcoming year, just so that I know at a glance, looking at the whole year, where my weddings are going to be throughout the year. Next, I used pink post-it notes to show all of my personal time. So this is vacation time that we have, holidays or trips that we wanna make sure that we have time off for. So I have put those all in pink. And the last thing I did was with yellow post-it notes is I wrote some monthly goals on some of the months where maybe I don't have as much going on so I can focus more on projects and just, moving forward in my business when I'm not buried with weddings or sessions during busy times. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. All the links are gonna be available down in the description below. If you'd like to purchase these calendars, the poster boards that I have them hung in, or just any of the supplies that I use when planning both my annual and my quarterly calendars. I also wanted to mention that I do have a free download available for you guys, how to get 10 storytelling images with just one pose. It's my secret on how I'm able to pose my couples less and actually get more variety of photos by posing them less. So you can find the link to that guide down in the description below, and I will see you again next week for a new YouTube video. Thanks for watching, bye.